Most of the anti-Semitic acts perpetrated in this country are perpetrated by white Germans, by, by the far right. Today's guest in our episode is Lucas Febraro, director of communications at DM25, a political movement that has an aim to democratize the EU before it dissolves. We saw Jewish people stand together with Arabs, with Muslims, with Palestinians, talking about peace, peace with justice. In other words, it was exactly, exactly the sort of thing that we need so sorely in moments like these. And the, the Berlin Senate cut the funding of Oyun on the charges of hidden anti-Semitism. We discuss a lot of the current things that are happening in Germany, such as the rise of the far right, demonstrations against the party AFD. Uh, as a response, to a plan by the far right to mass deport Arabs and Muslims. Here comes this group of Arabs and Muslims to try to join the demonstration against the mass deportation yeah. of Arab and Muslims. Mm -hmm. What happens to them? They're insulted, they're called terrorists, they're spat at by white Germans. So have you ever asked yourself, what is it that you would be doing um, during the, the Nazi period if you were living in Germany? What are you doing right now is exactly what you would have been doing then. This is our first episode that we're doing in English. Normally we're doing this podcast in Spanish, but we have tried this time to expand to a new audience, to talk different topics and to try to reach to different people living in Berlin and in Germany. So if you're living in Germany or Berlin, don't forget to subscribe. This podcast is going to become very interesting, so you don't want to miss any episode. So if you haven't done it yet, please click that button, subscribe. And now let's start with the podcast.